All right, I am 75 hours into my 75 hard challenge. If you've never heard of 75 hard, some people call it a challenge, some people call it a program. Regardless, it was created by Andy Frisella, just basically as a mental toughness challenge, a self-discipline practice, something to help you get really tuned in to pushing yourself as hard as you can. Why am I doing this? It's 100% mental. I'm not doing this as a weight loss challenge or any sort of like physical alteration. I'm not doing this to adopt a particular diet that I wouldn't already have. I am just doing this so that I can get super focused and zoned into a specific goal. And that just happened to be 75 hard. So the first 75 hours, let's talk about how it's been so far. Right now, my biggest fear of failure is not that I'm going to miss a workout because it's just too hard to get it in or that I can't get my protein in. It's honestly a fearing failure of just forgetting to do something. I really feel like a lot of my life was already kind of aligned. I already had stopped drinking alcohol. I already am pretty active. I already eat a real food, whole foods diet. And so because some of the things are a little bit smaller, like taking your progress picture every day or reading your 10 pages, my biggest fear is that I will just wake up one day and forget to do one of the things. So what I've been doing is track it in a journal, putting little check boxes every single day. Did I hit my water? Did I hit my two workouts? Did I get my protein goal for the day, which is the part of the diet that I have assigned myself? Basically, there's five elements to the 75 hard challenge. You have to drink a gallon of water every day. You have to work out two times for 45 minutes. One has to be outside. You've got to follow a particular diet, which also means no alcohol and no cheat meals. And then you have to read 10 pages of a book that has to be nonfiction and then take a progress photo. So all of those things are incorporated. You do it for 75 days straight. There's no stopping, there's no rest day, there's no, oh, I'm sick today, I'll hit it again tomorrow. Technically, if you do that, you have to start over from day one. My biggest fear three days in. Honestly, though finding the time to work out has not been an issue. I have gotten one workout in every day before my kids wake up, and then I do the second workout either in the afternoon or in the evening. It has been totally fine. Here's what I've been doing though. I really have been learning a lot about how the female body functions under stress and how working out can either inhibit or accelerate growth in the female figure. And so I'm trying to be really intentional with my workouts. So here's what I'm doing. I'm rucking, which is basically carrying a weighted backpack. Mine weighs about 20 pounds. I'm also doing specific weights each day and alternating which body parts. So day one, I'll do arms and abs, and then I'll ruck for my second workout, and then maybe the next day I ruck both times to kind of give my muscles a break. And then day three, which is what I did today, I did legs, glutes, and abs. So I'm trying to split my body, either upper body or lower body. What I'm doing is just trying to leave room for my torn muscles to repair and rebuild because a lot happens in that recovery phase. But when you're doing something like 75 hard where there is no rest day, there is no real recovery or downtime, I just wanna be a little bit more intentional in my workouts. One of the biggest questions and concerns when I shared that I was doing 75 hard on Instagram in the wellness space is the gallon of water. A lot of people feel like, isn't that going to dilute your stomach acid? Doesn't that flush out your minerals? Is that too much water? Is that harmful for your body? Here's my take on it. I already pretty much drink a gallon of water just naturally. I've just always been a big water drinker and there was a point in my life where I was drinking too much water. I was literally peeing what looked exactly like water out. I was clearly flushing minerals and I know what that feels like. Now I'm adding minerals and electrolytes when needed and I'm being really intentional. I'm not chugging water. I'm taking slow sips so that I'm absorbing it and I'm spacing my water consumption out. I'm also sweating a ton and because I like getting a workout in in the heat of the day, I really like doing an outside workout during that time because I like to sweat. I actually really enjoy the amount of water I'm drinking. It hasn't felt like a stretch and the way I'm measuring is just by drinking out of a quart jar. So I know I have to drink four full quarts to reach my gallon, but I wanna make sure I'm hitting my goal. Okay, so I covered working out, I covered water. The book I'm reading, so I am reading a book that relates to my specific passion area, 
my work, my interests, and it's the untold story of milk. It's all about raw milk and actually just milk in general and history, how civilizations have utilized milk, how milk and the cow specifically has shaped society. And it's super nerdy and I don't expect anyone else to read the untold story of milk, but I am loving it. So I've been reading about 11 to 12 pages a day and it's been totally fine. So far, my analysis only three days in is that on a day-to-day -day basis, the key principles in 75 Hard are not really extreme. I, again, am not coming from someone who's eating a standard American diet. I am eating a fully nourished diet, whole foods, and my biggest thing is that I'm not eating any ultra-processed foods, and I'm getting at least 120 grams of protein, although every day it's been 140 to 160. So I'm really upping my protein intake following that rough guideline of a gram per ideal body weight for someone my size. I'm 5'6", and so I'm hitting my protein goals. I'm also eating whole real foods and honestly it's been really really easy I've actually been tracking all of my food in my fitness pal I wanted to do that for the first couple days for a couple reasons one anytime you up a macronutrient you want to see the relationship to the other macronutrients so I didn't want to up my protein intake and then also unknowingly up my fat intake too much or not eat enough carbs or eat too many carbs I wanted to see my overall caloric intake and where the other macronutrients were leveling out and so far I've been pretty happy with what I I've been eating. Now, this thing is 75 days. There's plenty of time for me to run into an area where, oh my goodness, this is a pinch. I didn't plan my meals the right way and now I am cramming in protein at the end of the day. My goal is not to get there, but if it happens and almost when it happens, that is where 75 hard gets hard. It's not necessarily that the everyday principles are so extreme that you wake up just exhausted thinking about the tasks ahead. It's really just the consistency and the fact that this is never ceasing for eight straight weeks, two and a half months. 75 hard is going to take me all the way into mid-November. And at that point, it's going to be hunting season, holidays, my birthday, Thanksgiving, Christmas, all of the things. So this is going to really accelerate the back end of my year because I'm focusing on one goal for 75 days. And I think that's the hardest part. My first assumption before diving in was that day one was going to feel super hard. I thought the two workouts were gonna be excruciatingly difficult. I have three children. How am I gonna manage that? Am I gonna have good energy? What's the time frame gonna look like? I thought that maybe some of the meals might catch me off guard. And honestly, I felt pretty prepared, even though all I did was listen to a couple podcasts, watch a couple YouTube videos, and honestly, just talk to family members and friends who have done it before. So my first 75 hours of 75 hard have been relatively easy. I'm gonna put it around a four in a scale of one to 10, 10 being extremely difficult, one being a breeze, a walk in the park. I'd say it's been about a four, which is to be completely honest, honest, way better than I thought it was going to be. I thought the first couple days were going to be a challenge. And what I really think is that week two is going to hit the monotony of the challenge is really going to start to weigh on me. And I'm going to be like, oh, I feel like I already have these rhythms and habits nailed. Why do I have to continue with such strict results? Like I said before, my biggest concern is just straight forgetting, having a mindless mistake that would ruin the entire thing. So I really don't want to do that. I've been asking my family to remind me. I've been filling out a checklist in my binder. I've been tracking in my fitness pal and oftentimes I will track ahead of time. So I will say this is my day. This is what I plan on eating. And then at the end of the night, I have to make sure I actually ate all of that so that I'm not fooling myself into thinking I actually hit my protein goals. So that's been part of it too. It's almost like laying out the plan and then double checking that you actually did the plan. I'm hoping some of that nervous energy goes away. Right now, I kind of am walking around with like low level anxiety of just straight forgetting stuff versus the anxiety of holding myself accountable. I feel like that's not so much it. It's more like I don't wanna let Andy Frisella and you know tens of thousands of people who have done this before me I don't want to let them down. So I'm hoping that some of that energy shifts into just, I'm pushing myself as hard as I can. I'm making the biggest strides I can. I'm pushing myself in my workouts. 
but that's gonna look different for different weeks of my 75 hard and if I were to get ill or sick or however that would play out. If I didn't get enough sleep, I'm going to be tailoring somewhat while still staying within the parameters of 75 hard. So six months ago, I probably wouldn't have been open to the idea of adding on intentional stress, of putting myself in a situation where I'm specifically focusing on something and putting extra pressure on my days from a time perspective, but also just putting extra pressure on myself to, to reach a certain standard each day. I am just in a season right now where it's totally appropriate and I think a catalyst for my growth. I actually think this is really important for me to put this extra stress and pressure on my life because I was longing for something to excel my self-discipline. I have never really considered myself a super diligent person, someone who has tons of internal motivation, but I've been able to accomplish goals that I never thought I was able to. And every time I accomplished something that I was not sure I could finish, I felt amazing. It's been a long time since I've done something like that. And now I have three kids. My youngest is three years old. So I feel like I'm out of this like baby newborn phase. I've been pretty nourished for several years. I'm getting good sleep. I've already been in good habits as far as working out. And so I really felt like this is a great way for me to intentionally put myself through something that's hyper focused, hyper disciplined, so that at the end of this, I can remind myself like I have other times before that I can do hard things. That's really what this is about. Yes, I want to follow the rules. Yes, I want to be able to high five other people and say, I did 75 hard too. But this is really just for myself. This is for me. And sometimes when you're talking about pushing yourself or holding yourself at a higher standard makes other people feel uncomfortable. And I get it because you might not be in a season where you're ready to push yourself and then you instantly compare. And that's not what I think anyone should do. I think you should be able to have enough self-awareness to say that's awesome for you. It's not for me. And I think six months ago I would have said that, but today I'm feeling like this is for me. So that's my update of the first 75 hours of 75 hard. I look forward to completing the rest of the challenge. I have 72 more days to go. This is day three and I'm loving it so far.